Hello and welcome back to another video. The name is Daddy Cliff. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about Irish government's scholarship. Yeah, the government of Ireland does provide scholarship for those who would want to study in Ireland. Without taking too much of your time, let's get into my computer and look at the details of this scholarship. But first, before we continue, please, if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure you subscribe and then turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos that will be coming from me. Let's go. This is the website that has announced the scholarship. Government of Ireland International Education Scholarship 2023. So it was posted on the 14th of December. The Higher Education Authority is placed to issue the 2023 call under the Government of Ireland International Education Scholarship Program. So they say the offer is open to students from non-EU countries and is applicable to all fields of studies. So if you are from any country that is not in the European Union, you can apply and they say students who are successful will receive a 10,000 euro stipend for a one year study a full fee waiver of all tuition and other registrations cost at the higher education institute so the application can be submitted via the online portal so this is the online if you click here it will take you to this page what you need to do is create a uh, username and a password by signing up but before you do that this is what you need to know first this scholarship is only applicable after you must have obtained admission from one of the 25 universities in Ireland covered by the scholarship let's look at the universities okay so here you see call document if you click on that this page will open call for applications 2023 government of ireland international education scholarship so you have the background and objective of the scholarship you can read that the benefit scholars must be regarded as highly desirable and adding value to individual subsequent lives and career you have to prove that by your writings and then Details of the scholarship is here. The amount we already talked about. One year of a third master's degree or program. One year of a research program. E.g. One year of a one year of a two-year research master or three, four-year PhD program. Full fee waiver. It is expected to a total of 60 scholarships will be funded by the government of Ireland. 60. That's too much. So you can take the time to read this document. But what is of important, you can equally look at the candidate's profile. If you know you have all of those profiles, you can apply. What is of importance to us here is the call for submission. The call for application will be issued on 14 December. It has already been issued and the centralized application system link is now live and accepting application. The closing date for receipt of application is 5 p.m. on the 24th of March 2023 Irish time. Late application will not be accepted. This Any question regarding the call for application should be submitted to this email address. No later than 24th of March 2023. Outcome of results of application will be out from 1st of June 2023. Now let's look at the universities that are covered by the scholarship. You have 25 universities here beginning with American College Dublin right down to University of Limerick. So those are the universities that are covered by this scholarship. What you need to do here is select one university that might be of interest to you or one university that you think you are able to fulfill their admission requirements and apply get the admission and then what you need to do now is go to this web page go to the login type in sign up by creating a username password every information 
let me show you the documents that you would require after you must have obtained admission from one of those 25 universities okay so for you to apply what you need to do is open one let's take this one for example list of sections you have to input primary personal data by clicking open and then application eligibility you have to fill out that information details of offer you have to open it and fill it out academic and work history you have to fill them out it says action required personal statements and rephrase you have to provide them for the scholarship so this is different from the requirements that you would need to apply to get admission into one of those universities because the universities might equally require you to provide references but for you to obtain this scholarship equally you have to provide references so take note of that and then you have to declare and sign so let's take for example personal statement when you open you have to write down your personal statement you have to fill out all of this information provide your rephrase information they need to rephrase application eligibility let's look at that one i am eligible as my domiciliary of origin is outside eu or switzerland you take yes do you have a conditional or final offer like i said you have to have admission before you can come and apply for this scholarship you have to select all of them and then indicate now as mark complete it is very important that you get the admission and then come now and request for the scholarship here so in most cases it should be a situation where you have to pay tuition in those universities so you apply and then they will pay the tuition for you they will provide you with the scholarship for you to come and study it is as simple as that you get the admission from one of the 25 universities and then you come to this website that the government of Ireland has provided and then you come and apply for the scholarship please I always say that the problem with most people is that they don't take the time to prepare their documents for scholarship and they complain that scholarships are not available I know the process of preparing documents and applying for scholarships are always difficult but trust me when you do it it will pay off especially if you know that some people are bright as far as academic is concerned but sometimes they might be lacking the financial resources to continue with their education but that should not stop you even if you don't have the financial resources to procure education there is always a possibility for you to study in any part of the world by looking for scholarships scholarships are always there looking for those bright minds take the opportunity and apply for this that being said i'll see you in the next video and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel see you next time